Yeah, what's your problem? The kids, we back with another reaction video. Okay, today we got the internet changed me, bro. Now, did the internet change you? I think the internet changed me in a in a very positive way, honestly. I had to make sure my fan was on the shit because hot in this bitch. But before you get in the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna shit into this bitch. No cap, bro. May I have your attention, please? Yes, sir. Your attention, please. May May I have some, please? What if I put up gameplay of Subway Surfer and used a robot voice? Would, would that keep you stimulated? Wikipedia says that people born between the year 1981 and 1996 are part of a group called Millennials. Okay. And I am a 96 baby. Hello, Year of the Probably Rat. Good. What's up? I'm year of the Rat? What does that mean? I'm on that Millennial Gen Z line. So I can relate to all you Gen Zers, okay? I know what cap means. I know what Oh, you are means. old head. And I also you are old don't head. remember where was when 9-11 happened however gen z there is a difference between us we're both a generation that grew up on the internet but you grew up with the internet we grew up with the internet uh-huh yeah to... they grew up as the internet grew up but we grew up with it i feel like i kind of grew up with the internet growing up too though type shit in a way not 100 percent like them bro you know what i'm saying uh but i don't know bro is look like this it has metamorphosized a multitude of times like these new now, kids they grown up with it for real for real they'll tell you the horror stories of the late 90s internet how the internet used to be paired with your home's landline and if you don't know what a landline is good if you wanted to surf the net at blazing speeds of seven kilobytes a second then you couldn't use your telephone at the same time yeah i remember my mom this telling me what's like this all these even existed fucking so all these you needed to talk to someone you had to call them and look up their phone number in that 20 pound weapon known as a phone book and then if someone else was using the internet they'd get the pleasure of listening to that's Although, fucked. If I had to make a That's sound fucked. that represented the entire internet, it would sound exactly like this. I didn't grow up with dial up, but I did grow up in a time where the internet looked completely different. By the time I was exploring the interwebs, we got speeds up to one megabyte per second. So the highest quality video you could stream on YouTube was in 240p or Damn. this big, and it would still buffer. A lot. Damn. Gen Z, you weren't there when YouTube had a five-star scoring system and the subscribe button was yellow. What the fuck it was yellow? All over their videos. What you the fuck? You weren't there when the videos were in a four by three aspect ratio because that's what TVs looked like. You weren't there when a background for a website would be a never-ending grid of a JPEG and music would play against your will and your cursor would turn into a sparkly wand and... <laughs> okay, that's Bro, actually... what the hell is going on? Yeah, I never seen it. this part. And then the person who built the website would go, Hmm, it's looking pretty good. But you know what this web page really needs? A counter that'll tell you the total number of people who visited. Let me just copy this HTML no fuck code the way they did this shit, bro. And if you're around my age and you also had unsupervised computer time, then great. You were also there to experience the pre-puberty years of the internet. Try to imagine the internet without social media. No Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or MySpace. Were people back then just not talking about themselves or sharing their opinions Yeah, what online? the hell do they do? Were we as a society more connected with the people we knew in the real world? Who cares? No, of course not. People have been sharing their opinions online since day one. Me they hate rock. That's exactly how you said it, I bet. I know it sounds trivial nowadays, but there was once a novelty in being able to type anything you wanted into the computer, and then someone else you didn't know would instantaneously respond. Even Damn. Neopets, a game targeted to children, had chat rooms and let anyone send oh, yeah, I heard about messages chat rooms. to children. I'm surprised I didn't meet any weirdos. That's one thing that'll never change with the internet. There will always be weirdos online. In fact, most of a weirdo's life is spent behind a computer. I would know. I think people loved sending messages so much that sometimes your friend would send you a message that said, You've just been hit by the duck truck. Send this what message to 80 of your fuck? friends and you'll be as sexy as a truck. Ignore what the fuck? You have seven days. And instead of blocking that person, some people would keep the chain going. Hey, I have a quick question. When was the last time you ever had to type a specific website into your address bar? Hmm, 
probably somewhere about 10 years ago. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I was in like elementary and school. And YouTube pops up. You put in a T, you get Twitter, and P gets you pictures of alligators.com. And if you had a specific question you wanted to ask the internet, you just Yahoo it, right? Yahoo? No. Oh, no, that's not the one you kids are using. You kids are using that new search engine, right? Google. Ask Jeeves. The fuck I is that? Like that's a real main thing. Websites that everyone goes on. But back then, instead of having a social media account, people made their own websites. So that's kind of creative. There were a bunch of different websites for you to explore. And to help you find those websites, you had a few search engines to pick from. Alta Visa. What the hell is that? Bing for even attempting to be a search engine. But back in the day, Google had some competition. Obviously, I can see why Google ultimately won the search engine battle. I don't. I never use any of those other things. Google is a great company, and I would recommend Google to all my peers and coworkers. I love Google. As much as I love the internet, some of the best memories we had on the computer weren't even on the internet, were they? Sometimes the internet would just go down. But did that stop us? Did we go outside? Did they? Nowadays, nobody goes outside, but did they back in the day? Wait! Did you download Grammarly? Come no. We were still able to supply ourselves with hours of entertainment, even without an internet. All you had to do was click Start, All Programs, Accessories, Games, and then... Space Cadet Pinball. I remember I had I CD games and shit back in the day. Did you guys right have now, CD games? I don't know what this is, though, bro. But I used to have CD games from my mom's computer. There's only two buttons that you can press. But when you really got into it, this game had a whole lot more going on. Trust me. Space Cadet Pinball was all we had sometimes. And I cherished every second of it. But if you were anything like me growing up, you were also practicing your art skills. And luckily, every computer came pre-installed with a top-of-the-line painting software that every artist... Yeah, I used that. Yeah, paint. this program paint, got bro. everything. I used to use There's paint. There's a line tool and a bucket tool and a circle tool. And sometimes I when I was that. really bored, I would make a black rectangle, scribble the freeform selection tool on it, and then blammo. Okay, yeah, I never was... Got it. I was never that advanced. Masterpiece. And Damn. for James' bonus tip, for some extra self-induced epilepsy, hold down Control I, which will invert the colors, so your masterpiece will go. Oh, oh my God! Oh, it hurts to look at. Hey, looks like you're trying to create What's that? Paper clip. this YouTube video. Would you like my help? No, Clippy. Even when you were around, I. I was Clippy. You. I just liked having you there to keep me company. The internet is still a relatively new invention that Fuck is, is ever clippy. changing the way we live. And we have yet to see the full effects of what being connected since birth does to a person. The fact that the accumulation of all human knowledge can now fit in your pocket, that's going to affect your day-to-day -day life. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to get off the internet, touch grass, and live your life to the fullest. Otherwise, I'd be a hypocrite and unemployed. There's no denying all the positive things that the internet has to offer. Definitely. But I'm also not going to deny all the negative things that come with instant gratification, too. As technology advances, so too do we advance the amount of time we spend online. The internet can connect us to a million different people and perspectives that we never would have been exposed to before. But it can also expose us to some really nasty people. Yeah, definitely, bro. There's definitely the some nasty people on the internet. People is shrug and say, Sorry, that's the internet. So, are we as a society better off with the internet? I think so. But just, I don't know, just remember to drink water and stretch. All right, that's the lesson of this video. Go stretch. I'm serious. Right now, go touch your toes. Thank you all so much for watching this video about the internet and how it's changed. Hey, bro, if you enjoyed the rest, make sure you like,